Why do you think the Hong Kong protests could be sort of a black swan event for stocks? Well, remember, black swan means um, a unlikely but very highly consequential development. And uh, in the case of Hong Kong, look, there's a, uh, you know, people turn their TV on and they don't really fully appreciate this is a regional financial center, you know, one of the top three or four in the world. And people are, it's, it's mainly happening during the weekend. So people do, do still go to work. They still function. The banks still work. But there's a lot of people talking about taking their money out of Hong Kong. And if that suddenly happened, you could have a source of financial instability in the world that people are, don't see coming. Well, we've got the protests, so it's not truly a black swan. We've seen the police firing rubber bullets into the crowd. They've been beating people with clubs. It's gotten violent over there, but yet the markets have not yet reacted. Why not? Well, I think because we see this sort of thing, you know, in Bangkok or we see it in other places around the world, and we just figure, well, it's, it, you know, nothing really will amount to anything. But this is a, a the, the issue uh, is rule of law. It's what makes Hong Kong distinct. It, what, it's what makes people keep their money in Hong Kong. And when that comes into question, you're talking about a large pool of money that could leave and, you know, it, 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 could, it could send some shockwaves. What are the odds that this happens, Patrick? Oh, well, I said it's black swan, so I don't want to make it out like I'm predicting that this is what's going to happen. But it's just something to keep an eye on, uh, given the fact that markets seem... You know, pretty happy right now, uh, and uh, are, are are sort of pricing in that all good things will happen. Has the Fed rate cut that we are likely to get tomorrow, 100 percent chance based on Fed funds futures rates right now, and that's all the percent according to my math. Has the market already priced in a rate cut? Well, clearly the bond market is expecting it to happen, and would be surprised if it doesn't. Um, the issue, though, I think for broader markets is that there's a reason why the Fed is cutting rates uh, or is likely to cut rates. Um, and it's because there are weaknesses in the economy. You know, we got 2.1 percent GDP growth last week. Uh, that was better than expected. But really, uh, the things that drove that were consumption and government spending. Everything else was negative. Uh, we had a sixth straight quarter of, of uh, decline in residential investment. We had the first quarter of decline in uh, business investment and trade was, you know, not very impressive with uh, exports declining and and imports stagnant. So there were a lot of sources of weakness in the in the economy that we need to watch out for. What's the best part of the market right now, Patrick? Well, the, the fact remains that what's expensive in this market is actually risk uh, is risk off assets. It's it's safe harbors. And uh, even though, um, you know, I think there's a bumpy head awry, uh, uh, ahead yeah. for the a bumpy ride ahead for the uh, for the stock market, that doesn't mean that people aren't are okay. better off going and hiding. You know, they're better off riding that out.